It's important to make certain we understand what the legacy is all about, what he worked for, what he strived for, the whole concept of nonviolence is needed today and this hour more than ever. These are the darkest days we've seen in America in a long time. Violence is everywhere, coming from every direction. It's not just in the disenfranchised areas of our community, but even in the college set. Violence is in the churches, murders in supermarkets. And the one theme Dr. King had was we need to learn how to resolve our issues in a nonviolent form. And that nonviolence is the power to change the universe. When we come at each other violently, as we're doing now, destroying everywhere, and then we're rejecting the least of our little ones. Right now, homelessness is just rampaged all across the country. And it's amazing how we can be rejoicing and almost like it were in New York dancing while Rome burns. And when we see the number of people who have been consistently homeless for over the last 15, 20 years, and yet we're the richest nation in the world, but we can't find a way to take care of our own people on the streets. Some 50 people have died from the cold and the winter, and everybody's to blame. Corporate America could do it overnight. Our federal government could do it overnight. But one of the real challenges is what can the church do? Isaiah 61 lays it at the door of the church. I was hungry, you wouldn't feed me. Naked, you wouldn't close. Outdoors, you wouldn't take me in. Young men and women coming back from prison looking for an opportunity to restructure their lives. We have the resources. There's nothing wrong with America having resources. How we distribute those resources, how we apply them. It does not make any sense for churches all of our churches, I don't know what kind of denomination is, there's not a church in the world where folks sleep there at night. And yet, every night when people are homeless and sleeping outside the church with the light burning to my Jesus saves, but they won't let the homeless folk come in and sleep inside the church because we really believe the pews and the carpet and the drapes are worth more than the souls. We complain about how the homeless people smell, they stink. They, stink on the outside, you can wash that off with soap and water. Other people stink on the inside. Terrible minds, negative thinking. You can't wash that. If we're gonna change anything, we have to change the way we think. I just finished this book I wrote called A Man to Match God's Mountain. We never have a mountain except God first gives us the strength to climb it. And I put the book out to try to help people across the nation around the world understand we got to stop lying to ourselves, talking about what we cannot do. It's a lie, we can do it. There's more power within us than there ever is power coming against us. And God never gives anybody a mountain without first giving them the strength to climb it. We have inside braces for all of our outside pressures. Every time a burden comes, there's a blessing on the inside. Dr. King would be appalled when he looked at what we're doing today. He made that last statement, I went to the mountaintop. I looked over in the promised land. I can see what we can become. The challenge is the choices we make. He died fighting for garbage collectors. And there were those in the clergy realm who said he should not go back fighting for garbage. He's marched one day too long. He, what they, the garbage collectors don't pick up their own garbage. They pick up the trash we make. And yet when they pick up our trash, we say they're dirty. They're trying to get us clean. Many people are houseless, but they make a home in a gutter rather than to see the kind of negative impact we have by thinking about them being less than who we are. We've got to change the way we think. The most segregated hour in America is still 11 o'clock every Sunday morning. But the irony is when God's people won't let God's people come to church because we weigh each other by the containers we live in, not the contents as we share.
named Sage. Meadows Brunette. You mean Salem. She's so <laughs>